All right, guys, here we are. East Bay Anglers out here another day. Fishing at the pond. Um, you know, I think today's Wednesday. When nobody out here, but one vehicle. I think they're out here in a kayak or two. Or I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're just on a hike or they're likely fishing. They're somewhere out here. I, I mean, I. You know, we're not going to be able to fish too long today. I think it's about 1.30 p.m. We got out here a little bit late. Um, it's a bit windy today, so we'll see what happens. But we're out here a bit late. Probably going to get like three and a half, four hours. I might try and push it just all the way until sunset and do like uh, one half. We'll just see what happens. But I'm probably going to stay actually on the water longer today. We're going to like try to get the night bite, I guess. Throw some top water. I know it's a bit early, but like... Why not? No one else is doing it, so it sounds good to me. Uh, water temp is 59.60 that I checked yesterday, so I mean that's not, you know, it's a bit early to start throwing top water, but it's definitely uh, possible to catch a few, and just because they haven't seen it since last summer, last fall, I think it's, you know, you know, pretty good shot that maybe I'll pick up a one or two, you know? I mean... You know, just one blow up would be good. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, like I said, early for top water, but you know, what I've seen is it really depends. Each fishery, each body of water is a lot different. Sometimes top water turns on in March and doesn't end until November. Sometimes it turns on in like, you know, May, late May, June, July, October. And I've seen it, you know, last, you know, all the way till October, November. Sometimes it's, it's just different. All right, guys, so remember, no matter what nobody, no, all right, guys, remember one important thing. This is super important. You know, if you don't remember anything else, remember this. Each body of water is a lot different. Each little fishery is a lot different. And for one person to come out and say, hey, this bait's the bait and it works. Hey, it works where they're fishing. It's not necessarily going to work at every lake. So these fish are not really biting what they were biting. They're not really doing what they were doing. Water temps 59, 60 degrees. You know, low pressure the last two days. Heavy pressure the last, I don't know, four weeks, five weeks. We're going to go ahead and throw a <clears throat> live target. It's like a field mouse rat. Bait. Better take this hook keeper off. All right. So it's got some whiskers. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, we're gonna give it a try right now. We're gonna fish a lot of this area just like as if we never fished it because now we're fishing, you know, this top water bait. And hopefully, don't get into a hundred snap. You know, hopefully we're just not snagging up weeds after weeds. And if we are. I'm going to change to some kind of a hollow body top water. I want to play around with that a little bit, see what happens, and then, you know, we'll see what happens. Because it's like right now, a lot of this water is just so shallow. I can't work much through this initial launch point. And then once I get out a little further, uh, can work some other baits and see what happens. Stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, 
Alright guys, so far a whole lot of nada. I mean, no bites, uh, I threw some, I threw a field mouse slash rat, you know, it looked more like a rat in my opinion because it was uh, black, and I don't know if I've ever seen a field mouse that's black. So it's basically like a small rat, um, you know, field mouse seemed to be like mouse, seemed to be like gray and white, and maybe a little bit of black in them. This was more of a solid black bait, and um, had no luck on that, so started throwing some other baits. Had no luck on that, you know, tried swim baits, tried uh, basically some reaction baits, nothing happened. So, I don't know, we're just going to keep fishing. Yesterday was kind of the same, except I hooked into a good one that got off, so, yeah, we'll see. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we've got this little guy. I mean, there's something. It takes the skunk off, so now everything from here is like, you know, positive. Um, you know, fish stinking. It's about a few hours left. Just a few hours to uh, make something happen. So, you know. I don't have much left to fish at the pond, so I'm gonna fish it hard and uh, see what happens. I mean, honestly, uh, it's just it's getting real tough. And I think, you know, next time we go out, we're gonna go to a different pond. So, yeah. Alright, guys, we're out here another day fishing the pond. Today I said, why not bring out the fly rod, have some fun. I still got my bass rod, we're still doing bass fishing, but a lot of this water is dropping so fast that a lot of the areas I was being really doing well in, they're just no longer fishable with a lot of stuff. So I just hooked into this fish. I'm not even sure, I don't even know what this fish is. Maybe you guys, oh, don't go away, buddy. Maybe you guys can tell me what in the world, what, what is this thing? What is this fish? I don't, I don't know what kind of fish it is. It does not look like a carp. It's not a bluegill. It's not a sunfish. It's not a crappie. What is it? I don't, I don't know. What is that thing? All right, guys, that was a tough day. I mean, we put in quite a bit of work. Four hours, three and a half hours of fishing. Had to call it quits even earlier than I wanted and didn't really get to fish that night bite. Just in a bunch of pain, so just gonna go home and rest. But um gonna do something, gonna tweak some things, play with some things, and come out sometime, I don't know, next couple days, maybe, and uh try something different. I'm gonna bring a fly rod and see what I can do. Um, you know, we'll see. Uh I got some baits I'm working on so we'll see stay tuned